Okay, the first thing we do is loosen the 5 16 bleeder screw. The next thing we do is remove the cotter pin. And since the bleeder screw is starting to leak, we put the quarter inch hose on the bleeder screw to allow it to drain into the reservoir. Okay, now that we've got the cotter pin out, we remove the pin that holds the brake pads in place and then extract the, the, the brake pads. Next, we're able to get to the pistons. We push onto the pistons to push them into the caliper, and that will help drain the pistons or drain the calipers of brake fluid. Leaves a little bit less of a mess for us when we take the calipers apart. And there are two 5 eighths bolts that need to be loosened. Okay, now before we take the caliper off of the spindle, we need to remove the brake line. So now that's loosened, we will continue to back the bolts out.
To reduce the mess, it's uh, recommended that you separate the two halves over a drop cloth. The next part of the disassembly process is to remove the pistons from the caliper. In order to do this, um, these dust seals that are on each of the pistons needs to be removed. Um, these dust seals are a part of a replacement kit um, when you are rebuilding the calipers. It's okay if these get damaged. However, you got to be very careful not to scratch the bores of the calipers uh, or the, pist the piston bores of the calipers in the removal of the dust boots. So, um, what you do is basically um, take a, an instrument and a flat screwdriver or a pick um, and slide it between the um, dust cover and then leverage it out. Um, it, this is not a very tight fit. Um, the dust boots will pop out and then the pistons will come with them. So I'll show you how to do this.
There, quite easily done.